Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to be looking at this cool record wall rack by Koss. There's a bunch of links down below, make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, uh, the, the Vinyl Den merch page, there's links for the uh, Spotify and Apple Music playlists, there's a link for the Patreon page. Um, you know, so make sure you go check all those out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So Koss is a company that's been around for a long time. They've been involved in the music listening experience since 1958, I think is when they first started producing headphones. So they just kind of, so they're venturing off into a different uh, avenue also, adding to, to some of the stuff they're, they're doing. So they started producing these record wall racks, so that's what I'm going to check out today. I will say that uh, even though Koss did send me this to review, uh, of course all the opinions and thoughts on this episode are mine and mine alone. So the idea behind it is pretty simple, and uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea. You know, so this thing just hangs on the wall, and almost has like an old school, like jukebox kind of feel to it, where you can flip through each individual record and uh, and slide them out and play with and play the uh, the record you want. So if this thing holds ten, I will say this thing retails for. I think $50 on Koss's website. I think they do have, uh, I think that you can buy two for 90 and I think they have a, a six pack also that uh, that you could buy these. So kind of pretty cool idea. I'm going to pop this thing open, mount it on the wall, flip through it and give my thoughts on it. As far as packaging goes, this thing's just a, just a plain cardboard box. They do package and protect the corners on there. They do send it with some screws and some clips for your, for drywall if you need to use it so this thing just pops out of here so they just fold out and then i don't know if you can see it in the video but between the cracks are where your screws go into your wall so it's got four screw holes so it should be pretty pretty securely held to the wall so there shouldn't be any kind of uh, issues with it falling off the wall or anything like that and then your records just slide right into these slots and then like i said you can just kind of flip through Look, find what you're looking for, and then play it. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this thing on the wall and kind of give you my ideas on it. So I will say this thing mounted pretty easily. And as you can see, you can just kind of flip through the records and see each, each individual one. I guess I hung that ACDC in there a little crooked. So the spine goes against the wall, and then the rec so you're able to pull the record out of the uh, the jacket from the end. If I can get the, if I can get that one back in there. It doesn't clamp on the spine strong enough to kind of stop you from being able to pull off the record and put it back in. As you can see, the record just kind of slides out and it's got like a, the, the center of the, of the slot is, is small enough to kind of hold your record in there pretty, pretty firmly. So as you can see from the video, this thing was pretty simple to hang. It was just four screws right in the wall. It was held on there pretty pretty firmly. And uh, the record seemed to kind of snap up in there and held on pretty tightly in that groove in each each uh, in each individual flap. So I mean, overall, it's kind of a, a pretty cool idea. I did have a couple of issues with it, though. Um, you know, it only will hold a single LP jacket, so you can't put, it's not going to fit a gatefold in there. Uh, you probably wouldn't be able to fit a, you know, a, a double LP, even though it's a single jacket. I think it would probably be too wide to fit in there. So you're probably not going to fit any kind of newer pressings into into a, a holder like that. And I also kind of worry about the long-term wear on the jacket to have it held in there like that. So I would say, you know, for, to, to, to cost, I would in, maybe with future versions of this, instead of having it just a single kind of spine, you know, held in, but with the spine of the record, maybe having like a leg come out also for me to, for it to kind of set into the leg and against that, that spine. So maybe kind of, you know, so A, you could probably fit bigger, thicker albums in there, some gatefolds in there. And also you wouldn't maybe have the potential of having some uh, extra wear on the spine of your record. 
The other thing I really noticed is once I filled it up with records, as you can see, it didn't really set against the wall flat. So, you know, if, if it is sitting in an area where it doesn't have something directly in front of it, you kind of run the risk of someone, you know, accidentally walking into your records. So maybe, like I said, maybe having a, a flat that kind of fold out to, to hold the, the bottom of the record so it kind of sits in a cradle more than than slides in the slot, if that uh, if that makes sense. Maybe do a, a different design, something like that. And also to have it, you know, when it folds flat, to have it flush against the wall, I think would be a, a little bit of an improved design uh, for, for this kind of product. Overall, I really like the, the product. I think it's a really cool way, kind of a, a like I said, a, a vintage kind of feel to it. It has that like flip, uh, flip through uh, jukebox kind of feel to it, which I really like. I think it's a really cool way to uh, to kind of display some records. There, like I said, I've got some kind of questions with it. Like I said, the the long term wear on the spine, I think, is kind of my big thing. And uh, you know, I, I guess I'd have to see how I'll, I'll put a couple of them up there and uh, have them kind of sit up there for a while and see if there's kind of kind of like added wear to to the to the actual jacket itself. But uh, like I said, kind of a cool idea. I like where Cost is going with this, and uh, maybe with uh, with future versions of this, we'll see a, a an improved uh, product. So if you're interested in this record wall rack, I'll put links down below to Costa's website and their Amazon store. Make sure you check them out. Obviously, they also make great headphones, so you can go on there and, and buy yourself some great headphones also. But uh, I just, uh, like I said, it's a cool idea. I really like where they're going with us. I like the, uh, I'm always interested in new and interesting products. And this is definitely a, a cool and interesting way to, to display some of your records. But uh, I don't know. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.